All right, so the first thing you need is a parts library. And if you can't find the parts library, whatever you pull out of the side here, there's this down arrow that allows us to pick different things. And one of the things there is the parts library. And you can define what your parts library is, or you can have multiple part libraries. All right. In, in my case, I know this one is in something called train. That starts with a T. We'll take the train parts. All right, and so like you highlight the part you want to be your base because the very first part you pull in is going to, um, you know, basically be the anchor for everything else you put in. And you can basically come down here and adjust how you want to look at it. Because when we pull it in and it, it goes in, sometimes when you want to put another wheel on, and I'll show you that in a second, it it basically will lock up on you. So you take the label of it and you just drag it in and you drop it and it puts it in in the order that you, you have placed it. So we've got a basic train body here and if we highlight the train body here, it shows us down at the bottom we have a constraint placed on it and it's also up here and it's called ground. So when you want a part not to move, uh, you apply ground to it. The nice thing about assemblies is once you get them all together, then you can you know, make them uh, move and that type of thing. So I'm going back to my parts library and if I want a wheel, I can pull the wheel in and I'll just drop it over here. Now, the wheel, and this is like one of those uh, wonderful things, uh, you know, I needed something to do with sixth graders. So I took my son's uh, little wooden train set and I got my calipers out and I measured the whole thing. Now he's got four children of his own. So it gives you some idea how long I've been doing this, this you know, little exercise with folks. So when you think about it, the hole in the wheel has to line up with the hole in the train body so it can sit there. And so here are all our relationships. Now, when you first start placing it, there's an automatic uh, um, constraints thing that comes up and it wants to place everything all for you. And, and that's okay sometimes, but it gets in the way uh, other times. So if you know what you wanna do, like I know I want to line up the axis of this hole with the axis of this hole. And so I come up and I find one of these things called axial align. It gives us a pretty picture and shows us what's going to happen. So I'm going to highlight that. It shows me that I'm going to line up my axes. So as you come over, you notice that it highlights and gives me a yellow dotted axis. So I'm going to say I want that lined up with that. So now if I roll it around, you will see, if we look through the hole on the wheel, it lines up with the hole on the train. And then we wanna make sure that the wheel is probably a little closer to the train body. All right, so we wanna create a relationship between the side of the train and the back side of the wheel, okay? So we've got a command called the flush, which says take this surface and put it on this surface. Well, if, if we put the wheel on so tight that the two surfaces are locked together, um, it, it'll work in the picture, but it won't look very good when we try and roll it. So what we're going to do is we're going to put on this mate command. And you know, basically, I'm going to take this surface. And I'm gonna leave maybe two hundredths of an inch between the two. And what that will allow us to do
is to put those together. Oops. Come on back. And there's a little daylight between them. Okay, and if you decide at any point that you don't have enough daylight, we just have to come over here and then we click on the wheel and you notice the wheel highlights and down at the bottom we have, okay, we're constrained to the engine body and notice it says rotation unlock. So the way I, I did it, left the wheel room to roll. If I don't like the space and I want to increase it, I can come down to the one that says, all right, here's our two hundredths of an inch. And I click on that and that opens it up and I can say, now I want it four hundredths of an inch. And I can just hit enter and it goes out the four hundredths of an inch. All right, so I've got extra space between there now. All right, and so you can control the relationship between those. And there's this uh, piece that says drag component. All right, now we've, we've constrained this piece. And if we look at the constraints, you see it has rotation unlocked. Okay, so if I drag a component, uh, active. I don't want to detect collisions at this point, so I'll uncheck that. Uh, right, and then we'll say OK. And so if I grab this little piece here, I can get that wheel to go. All right, so it's, it's rolling around. All right, so we know that, all right, so this is something that we can we can utilize. And then there was a peg that's going to hold this. So we could take a peg and throw the peg in there, same way. I'm going to take that peg. And I'll come over to my parts library. I know I have a peg here. So I'll, let me just throw the peg out here. And OK, so it's in a vertical. And so we want to align the axis. And then we're going to you know, mate the underside of this with the train. Well, there's also a, a, a relationship called an insert. So an insert says, okay, I'm going to make line up the axis and then I'm going to line up the faces. So it allows us to uh, basically take the axis. And then it says, click on the face to make on the first part. And we want maybe something like that. And now it says, pick the face on the second part. And now the, the peg is in there. Okay, so if we look at the constraints on the peg, uh, the rotation is locked on the peg and it's inserted. And that's why we didn't insert the wheel because we wanted the, the, the wheel to be able to spin. And then we've got the wheel here. So if I go back to drag a component, I can still get the wheel to roll. And the peg stays stationary and, you know, so we can build our, our assembly step at a time and make sure that it performs the way we want it to do.